Now, your live Doppler 8 first alert weather. Good evening once again. It's 1017 now, but we're looking back on our day across mid-Missouri, and the skies were scary for many folks in the path of the storms earlier this afternoon. Quite a bit of a scare as our weather cams earlier picked up some pretty interesting shots of wall clouds, funnel clouds, what could have led to a tornado touchdown, but thankfully nothing touched down here in mid-Missouri. Let's actually go back to live Doppler first alert radar because I have it looping over the past 12 or 6 hours. It started right around Sedalia, and as we head into about 4 o'clock, that's when we really got the first tornado warning going. It picked up quite a bit of rotation, especially in the lower levels. And we'll loop it one more time here just to show you. It just kept moving east, going through St. Louis. Definitely a lot of damage around downtown St. Louis, definitely around Lambert Airport. That's in Illinois right now, and we are clear of any rain. Tornado watches are gone. We are finally going to have a bit of a break for the rest of tonight before yet more rain comes into the picture for tomorrow. But it's not as bad as you think it is. But for now, we're definitely seeing some clearing at least, so that's some good news. You can see some stars tonight. 59 at the airport right now with the west wind at 7 miles per hour. And our barometric pressure is rising as that low pressure system finally begins to move out of here. And we say good riddance after a day like today. Temperatures around the viewing area were cooling off quite a bit. You can definitely tell the front has passed through. 58 in Paris, 57 in Moberly. Look at this, 48 in Chillicothe, quite a drop. 53 in Brunswick and Marshall, and 59 right now in Sedalia, where all the action started earlier this afternoon. And you can see it for yourself here on satellite and radar composite over the past 12 hours. Once we had some clearing in the satellite view and we could get the sun, get things more unstable, the, the storms just erupted like that. And we just, thankfully, not a whole lot of damage, at least in terms of tornadoes, but definitely plenty of hail as the storms move through. And all of this is because of quite a monstrous storm system. Here it is right here earlier. It's, the low is just centered just over central Missouri. But actually, we have the cold front passing through now. So all the action is well off to the east of St. Louis, east of the Mississippi. And again, a quiet night in store for us. Let's show you just to be sure with precip cast, our high res precip cast. Here we are earlier at nine o'clock with all the activity off to the east. That front continues to push everything out of here. We will have a quiet start to your day tomorrow with some areas seeing some breaks in the clouds, but mostly cloudy skies will be the dominant rule as we head throughout the day tomorrow. And maybe just a few showers as we have that front becoming stationary and wavering about with some impulses coming in. But any showers are going to be really tough to find and it will not stick around for too long. So compared to today, tomorrow looks to be no problem. But as we head throughout the rest of the forecast period, look at this, we could see rain accumulations add up to quite a bit. This is kind of underestimating it a little bit. You can see almost two inches in some local spots, so we have to worry about some flooding and especially some local areas as we head throughout the weekend. So while we're done with severe weather, flooding will be a big concern for the next couple of days. But for tonight, mostly cloudy skies at 48. Any rain has been moving out of the area and will be gone by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. 66 with mostly cloudy skies and again, just a chance for some light rain. But compared to today, we will barely see anything for tomorrow. Same story for your Easter Sunday. It starts off quiet, but in the afternoon, we'll see some more showers come on in with a high of 64. But look at this. We have another chance for thunderstorms for Monday and Tuesday with highs in the mid 60s. We'll clear things out after we get through Wednesday and we will finally see the sun break out and we'll see if we can't get highs back up to 70 by next weekend. It's just been a crazy day. So much rain. You're right. So okay. much rain. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome.